the second of our little mini-series on database queries that use mathematical style operators is about logical operators or Boolean operators. There are two names for the same thing. Specifically, we're talking about AND, OR, and NOT. So these logical or Boolean operators uh, for AND, both must be true. For OR, either can be true. And for NOT, you take the opposite or all except that one. I'll show you an example of each. There are some others that are available, uh, like in a list and not in a list, but we won't do those here. Looking here, we might look for all clients who have a postal code of 80300 and have zero amount paid. Well, there's only one of those, and we would find that result. See, the other one, 80300, had more amount paid. Well, let's look. So with the AND, both must be true, therefore there will be fewer results. This concept is always difficult to understand for beginners, the AND and the OR, but AND requires two things to be true so there are fewer results. And I said list all companies in 80330 zip code and currently owe more than $10,000. You can see the way my query was written on that criteria row. I chose a postal code of 80300 and in the current due column I wrote greater than $10,000 and it showed me my two results. If you're just beginning don't worry if you get confused and write the wrong thing sometimes because I'll show you when we get to the next slide. You might say, show me all of the companies that are in 80300 and uh, the 80349. You might think that's an and, but really it's an or because either one can be true. So we'll have more results. It is a little bit confusing, so don't worry if you get confused in the beginning. The way we'll do that is to use the OR row, and we'll write 80300 on one row and 80349 on the other row on the line below it. And you can see that in the results we get both 80330 and 80349, but we did it with an OR. A little bit confusing. Here's, let's try one more. List all clients who live in 80330 or who owe over $10,000. That's similar to what we looked at other times. And so in this one, I use the two rows and I put one criteria in one row and the other criteria in the other row on the OR row. And so what I got here is the first one is 80300 and it does happen to be over seven over 10,000. The second one is 83. That one happens to be but I also have the 80356 that's not in the 80300 area code, but it is over $10,000. And so that one gets included because of that. Or gives you more results. Just to note also, you could type the word or in certain circumstances. If you wanted more information, you could Google it. And uh, see, there are other ways to write it. Oh, the third one then is not and it says return everything except that one. So if I said list all companies not in the 80330 zip code area, I can type, you should type in all capital letters, 
but the computer will change it to caps and smalls. Not 8030330. The computer changed the not to caps and smalls, and it added the quotation marks around the number. Did you see that? And so now when I look in my postal code list, I see every zip code except 80330. But those are the three and or and not logical or Boolean operators to get you started.